Welcome back everyone. So we're doing something pretty crazy today. We're going to be dyeing our carpets. Our carpets are in pretty good condition. They do have some bleach stains here and there. And it is pink and is really cramping my style. And I do not like it. There's like an oil stain somewhere. The carpets are clean. We had it professionally cleaned, but we cleaned it again with our own cleaner. So the first step, obviously, we had to remove everything from out of the area. All right, so just in case I chose this area where the sofa sits on, just to get, you know, some spot uh, testing. So I took some of the dye, I put uh, the dye with some warm water. Do not put hot water inside this bottle. My melted to pieces, so <laughs> not a good idea. I should have thought about that. But anyways, I'm just trying a spot here with just the dye and some water. So I'm using the RIT dye and some water basically. So it depends what your carpet is made out of. Some are made out of uh, like a poly, some kind of um, synthetic fiber. If you know it's synthetic, it's not wool or, or cotton. I don't think there's any cotton ones, but uh, if you know it is synthetic, you should be using the synthetic uh, RIT dye, which I'll show you in the video later on. It's also linked below the uh, synthetic dye, which you can buy at Walmart. I got it on sale for four something per bottle. Now, later on in the video, I'm going to show you if you want to save on dye, just follow the instructions that I'm giving you at the end of the, because I really wasted a lot of dye on this project and I just follow instructions on other videos on, um, on YouTube and it just didn't go well. It just didn't. So uh, here I'm testing it. Uh, leave it for some days with some uh, ceiling fan on and the next day I take it and I still see some, some it's coming off. So in the end, I noticed that that is something that uh, you will have to deal with for a little bit until it actually settles into the fibers. So yeah, your feet may be uh, gray for a little bit, but it's not, I put the furniture back on there and everything and it was fine. So I tried, you know, many spots, some with salt. Um, also, we have this color stay that RIT has um, that helped a lot. So here I am trying to test the fibers they say if there is nothing left or just ash left that basically it would be um, a natural fiber carpet so mine just burned to smithereens but i was assured by the uh, carpet guy that this was not a natural carpet so it was a synthetic so i went ahead with using the synthetic fiber uh, writ dye. So here's what my little spots look like. I apparently I'm talking to the camera, but I don't know what I'm saying there. But either way, this is where I tested. So try to find an area where you're going to be setting a piece of furniture on, anyways, just to be sure that it's not going to ruin it in any way but at this point i thought our carpet is really ugly it's really messed up uh, i thought it was wool at first so i used the regular charcoal gray uh, writ dye and this is the color stay i'm showing you there um, that did not work because my carpet is synthetic i actually did this before i spoke to my carpet guy so i know for sure that it is a synthetic fiber and most will be unless you know for sure it's wool but you know how much a wool carpet would cost so much money do you really think somebody put wool carpet in florida i don't think so so anyways there goes my bottle it's all mangled because i put um the hot water from my sink the hot water here is really amazing i don't know i think there's something going on with the water heater but anyways 
After being so terrified of starting this project, I said, you know what? I don't have time for this. I'm just going to do it. Anyways, it doesn't look that great uh, the way it is right now. So I just decided to go for it. So I used a, a, a one of the shop uh, vacuums and I'm going to show you which one I used uh, later on. And I just started vacuuming the entire place. Uh, make sure every single corner is vacuumed. Once you put the dye on, once you start spraying it on, you're going to see spots that you miss because you left some kind of, you know, piece of whatever on there. So you make sure everything is completely vacuumed. Now that everything is vacuumed, my husband's helping out and he is um, using that paint tape and putting it in the corners because once we use the uh, machine, the cleaner, uh, we're going to put the dye into the cleaner and actually kind of a wash, quote unquote, the carpets. But oh, and by the way, this is a vacuum I use. It's uh, the Vac Master. It's actually a pretty reasonable price. I think we bought the three gallon or the five gallon. We bought the five gallon one. We used to have one that was a bit more powerful, but this one works great. Um, so anyways, I decided to do the edges just to test that out. You know, I continue with my testing because I'm so terrified of doing this <laughs> full blown. I just kept testing everything. So um, you let me do the testing and you go ahead with your project. Okay. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm using a brush to make sure all of the dye goes right into the deepest parts of the fibers of the carpet. Um, that's why I'm using that. And that's from the Dollar Tree, super cheap. The other thing I noticed was the masking tape is not enough. You're gonna have to either put some paper above that or use a two or three more lines of masking tape because it does get on the um, kickboards or the baseboards I mean so you have to be careful with that unless you're going to be painting later on and you don't care then just go for it but I'm not going to be doing that right now although I do want everything white it's we're not going to be doing that unless you're putting white you're going to be wiping it down immediately because this stuff really just sticks on there and if you're thinking about using bleach later on I don't think so because the bleach will probably go down onto the carpet and make a white stain. So you don't want that either. I'm linking everything below, but just so you have a visual here, I'm using the Hoover Power Dash Pet. Um, now pay attention to the rest of the video because I end up using something else. Um, but I'm just letting you know, not everything runs smoothly, guys everything is like a trial and error and i so actually following other videos on youtube but i'll let you know what actually worked and i just showed you there the dye that's for synthetic fibers which is called dye more that's the name that i have forgotten but it's writ dye more that's what it's called so first i do some cleaning of the carpet and then just to make it wet so it can absorb the dye a little bit better is one tip that I saw that uh, people used. Okay, now remember to plan this out. Okay, everything is clean now, but and every, all the dye is inside of the bottle uh, that's supposed to contain uh, clean water, but we put dye in there. We put one bottle, um, actually half a bottle for each one of these with some of the color stay. And I did put some salt in there. I heard salt and 
maybe even perhaps vinegar helps. But in the end, just to dye more, warm or hot water would work. And I'll let you know what we did in the end. It was actually even easier than this. This process for us took us weeks because we didn't understand why it wasn't working for us when it worked for everybody else. So just plan things out and make sure if you're going to start dying to you know, start on your right or your left, all the edges until you have no more, kind of like a rainbow, starting a rainbow. And that's what we did. And we did have to um, make sure and plan because we do have to get from our bedroom to the kitchen. So we had to make like a little trail. So we left the area to the left, which is a dining room. We left that with none of the dye. We're just doing the living room and then we're gonna go to the other room and we're just gonna go step by step just so it won't impact our family too much because we do have to get back and forth through there. So this is the first coat that we did with the machine. Um, and I did a little transfer test and everything with my feet and it was good, it was fine. But I feel like we have so much more to go. If this is only the first coat, then we're gonna do what, 10 coats? I mean, this is actually a, a little harder than I thought it would be. So um, again, we decided to go another method and I'm gonna show you that now. Okay, so we're using a two gallon insecticide sprayer. Um, I got this at Walmart. I think it was about uh, $17, but wow, this made such a difference. Look at like three or four layers to the one layer of the spray. It just makes such a big difference. Yes, you get more product down, but I was able to put two um, bottles of dye with some of the color stay into some hot water into the sprayer and this thing just went down really dark and nice and even the other the machine was just not making it for us it's not doing it for us it was um blotchy you can see lines everywhere and my this sprayer was awesome you have to be careful it does go under pressure because you have to pump the top but once you screw the top on you click it and you're able to use it as a this is like a little valve and my fingers are like gray <laughs> so make sure the valve is closed when you're going to be pumping it you put this um, part in you screw it in and then this is your hose with the sprayer at the end all right so make sure everything is mixed up you know very well with the dye inside uh, you don't want the dye just settling at the bottom and I forgot to close this so don't make my mistakes okay so this video is all about don't make my mistakes do it this other way <laughs> because it's just gonna be so much better so I did it the other way just so you won't have to so this was really awesome after I did this one spray I just went and and I, I kind of like spot sprayed in, in different areas and it was just so much better. And then you can tell when it was kind of, um, the dye was kind of getting lighter and lighter is because it was, we, I didn't pump it all the way. So make sure you have it pumped all the way so it could spray a good amount of spray. Um, it's going to take about, and this is the results guy. I just, I just love it. I love it. It's this big difference between, this and pink carpet um and this is awesome my sister gave me that area rug which is perfect we're gonna put it there and it's just gonna look so nice i feel so much better about it and you are going to get some transfer onto your feet or socks for a little bit but it's my understanding after like about a week that should go away with vacuuming and all that so if you're not following me or if you're not looking at my shorts i really do give a lot of updates there this is uh during the nightmare stage of our carpet dying day so um you can look at that if not you know just subscribe like and share while you're here and we're going to be coming up with lots more videos this was the hardest one that's why it took so long to put up but we are done with that area we're supposed to be doing the dining room and then the family room we should be done with that and then we're going to move on to the kitchen we have some special stuff going on over there all right guys take care bye bye